Today I am going to be showing you a three-point mapping example with Sky Bison from Avatar The Last Airbender. So after talking with the geneticists at the Southern Air Temple, they let me know that they have reason to believe that there are three traits on the Sky Bison that are linked. These three traits are the color of the arrow pattern, with brown being dominant and white being recessive, the shape of the tail, with rounded being dominant and pointed being recessive, and the horn shape, with straight horns to be dominant and curve horns the to be The Southern recessive. Air Temple geneticist lent me this chromosome map to show you guys. They now, when these breed, they will create an F1 generation that will strictly be heterozygous, and they will come up with these chromosomes right what? here. This is what the chromosomes look like if there were no crossing over events. Now, for our first crossover event, we would see that these chromosomes would cross over during meiosis 1 in this region, and it would result in a switch of the arrow pattern alleles. Now if we were to look at our second single crossover event, this would be happening right here, and as you see, the information for the horn alleles is transferred to the other chromosome. Now if we were to look at our double crossing over event, we would see that the crossover would happen, as you would guess, in both regions, resulting in these two recombinant chromosomes. Now with this information from the Southern Air Temple geneticists, we are able to calculate the probability of each crossover event occurring. So let's say we wanted to come up with this chromosome. This chromosome codes for the brown arrow pattern, the pointed tail shape, and the curved horns shape. Now this results from a double crossover event, as you can see from the colors. So that means we have to multiply the probability of region 1 crossover with the probability of the second region crossover, as long as our coefficient of coincidence. So since we know that the length between the two loci is 9 centimorgans, the probability is directly proportional, so we would multiply that by 0.09. And then same thing with 17, it would be 0.17, with our coefficient is 0.92, which gives us this number. Now, in, with this double crossover event happening, this produces two types of gametes, but we only want to have one. So that means we have to multiply our probability by 0.5, since there's a 50% chance of getting this chromosome, which gives us this probability. Now let's say you wanted to calculate the probability of getting this chromosome, well, we can see that this chromosome comes from a single crossover event from the first region. So the probability of that occurring is 0 0.09 because that's how far away the two loci are. However, we also know that this crossover happens during a double crossover event. So we have to subtract the probability of that happening from just the, prob from the probability of that region crossing over, which gets us this number. Now, since we know that there's a 50% chance of this gamete showing up because of its counterpart, we have to multiply that by one half, which gives us this probability of getting this chromosome. Now, if you were gonna go on and calculate the probability of each one of these gametes showing up, then these are the numbers that you would come up with. 